Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Motorola Click. So if you're not already there, head to our site, spelled like that, and then search for how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Click. Okay, so before you begin loading a ROM on your Click, you got to make sure you've done our how to root the Motorola Click procedure because you need root access in order to continue. So you'll see there's a link right there. You can click on that if you haven't already done it. Uh, do that whole procedure to a T. Once you're done, then you can come back here and we can continue. Okay, the first thing we need to do to load a custom ROM on our Click is we need a custom recovery image. So, first step in there, you're going to see the Motorola Click recovery image from Amon Ra. Uh, click on that and download it to your computer. And once you've done that, we can go to the next step. Okay, so once we've downloaded the Click recovery image, we are going to grab it and save it to our Click's SD card. Uh, make sure not to put it in any folder, you just want it on the SD card itself, so you'll see the path says, my computer removable disk, and that's it. Uh, once you've done that, you can close that out and go to the next step. Okay, so once we save the recovery image to the SD card, we're going to plug in the phone via USB. And just ignore whatever it says when it pops up. Okay, once you plugged in your phone, uh, you're going to open up the command prompt. So you can do that by typing in CMD. Um, there it is. And then you're going to type in it. And uh, you don't have to read what I'm writing here. You can just follow the procedure on the site. Oops. And then, okay, ADB shell, and it should give me the number symbol. If it doesn't and it gives you like a dollar sign, then type SU. If it gives you the number symbol you already have root access, so you can skip typing SU and just type flash underscore image space recovery space slash SD card slash re recovery hyphen R A hyphen click hyphen V one point five point two dot IMG and hit enter. Okay and it should wait for a second and then finish. Okay once you've flashed the recovery image onto the phone we're gonna turn it on real quick. Keep it plugged in we're going to pull down, select that, and click USB drive because we want to copy something to the SD card. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go to our download link uh, that we have listed in the procedure to take you to our ROM section of our site. And you can find a ROM for the click. What I'm using is the Dev Team ROM. So we're going to grab that, keep it zipped, do not unzip it, and drag it over to our SD card again, just like we did with the recovery image, and let that copy again. Okay, then once we've done that, we can turn the phone off. Then we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and the camera button at the same time. And just hold camera while it's booting up. It should tell you let go, and then you'll see two options here. You're going to press volume down. It'll say volume down, keep pressed. I'm going to set this down and wait for it to boot into recovery. Okay, once it boots into recovery, your screen should look like this if you flash the recovery image correctly. And we can use the up and down arrows to select what we need. So first thing we're going to do is back up and restore. It's always a good idea. NAND backup. Home to confirm. And this is going to save a copy of our current ROM and everything to the SD card in case we mess up. So let that finish. Okay, once it's done, it'll say backup complete. And then you can hit back and we're going to scroll down to wipe, hit home to confirm. Okay, now we can go back and flash zip from SD. 
Okay, then once it's done, it should say install from SD card complete. And now we can highlight reboot system now and push that. And then once it restarts, you've got your custom ROM and you're all set. Enjoy.